Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay and I have a marketplace video for you. This is just a short video. I have some journals from Kim Wilcox. She's from Canada. If you're unclear on what the marketplace is, it is an online consignment shop where um, you can send me journals and I market them and sell them for you so you don't have to worry about that. So here we go. We're going to get right into Kim's journals. I think these are, um, they're like the comb binding. There's a metal or a spiral bind, I guess it is. So there's a comb or spiral binding here. Chipboard cover, beautiful collaged cover, little dragonfly charm, and it says thoughts. If you're interested in purchasing any of the journals that I show in this video, they will be listed in the marketplace section of my website. 120 pages in this. So this is just a journal. It's not so much a junk journal. I mean, it has a few, um, a few elements, but it has a lot of writing space or room for you to use it as a glue book or something like that. It's just fun, simple, and sweet. There's even a pocket here at the top. Room for you to chunk it up too since it is in that spiral configuration. That's cute, little tea bag pocket. So just lots of different kinds of papers to work in. The spiral is really nice to work in because it lays so flat. So that one is Thoughts. And then there's also, another, oh, there's another one that's called Thoughts, but it is more of a brown instead of a pink. Here is that one and it has a camera charm. And pretty much the same setup. A lot of blank pages with a few little bits and pieces just kind of added in for fun. Be so much fun. This is, if you really know what you're doing with a junk journal or if you write a lot, if you really want to just practice playing in pages, this is the perfect journal for you. So just lots of different pages like that. Very, very, very similar to the other one. I think these would make incredible Christmas gifts too. They don't take a whole lot of explaining like some of the junk journals would. They're perfect for a gift. So you could get those for your Christmas gift list. Here is another one she made. It is a, looks like a vintage Reader's Digest cover and that she's remade or recovered the spine. Three signatures metal book corners, and two charms. There's a trumpet and a camera. This is more of a traditional junk journal. Coffee dyed pages, little bits and pieces. Very vintage looking. Really pretty. Lots of journal cards. Collaging. They have the, there's, these are actually bookmarks. So you can move them throughout the journal, wherever maybe you left off, or you wanted to mark something important where you wanted to be able to find it quickly and easily. This is just a very generic you can really make this any theme. It's perfect for anybody. You could add a lot of florals and make it more floral. You could add more masculine items and definitely make it more masculine, especially since the cover is um, so, with that burgundy and the gold, it's so neutral and it already has a, a really nice like faux leather and masculine feel to it. So there's that one. And then one more from her right here. Looks like it is fabric covered and I'm guessing hand painted. Three signatures, metal book corners, 
beaded bookmarks. This is the closure. You can I'll probably tie a ribbon and then close it. It's a handmade cover. That's beautiful. This one's really sweet. I love how she left the cover just painted brown like that because you can totally decide whether you want to leave it that way or whether you want to decorate it. Look at that. It's a dragonfly bead. I think she may have beaded that. It's beautiful. It's got a real vintage feel, but there's little floral touches and little feminine touches to it. Really pretty. Lots of different kinds of papers. Look at how pretty that is. Very, very pretty. Book pages. Playing card. Very well put together, very aesthetically pleasing. I love this cute little size too. It's so much fun to work in. I don't think it's a fall journal, but there's a few little vibes in it that you could really use it for the fall months if you wanted to. That is just beautiful. So there's that one. So that is what Kim sent. Since there weren't very many, I was looking through my boxes and trying to find um, one of the next ones in line, but I came across this envelope that was marked Halloween. So I thought I'll just pull it out and add it to this one. This is from VCK, Vilma Kolstad. And I think there's a couple of boxes that I have from her, but this one was marked Halloween and there's a Halloween journal. So I thought getting it out, getting it in the shop since I had a couple minutes on the end of this video would be great so that you guys could get your Halloween journal before it is too late. So if you do not have a journal for October yet, please consider this one. It is called Poison. It's really cool. I like this kind of creepy vibe. This is kind of what I go for when I make a Halloween. I have a new Halloween kit called Poison and Lace. So you might want to look that up. It is in the autumn shop section of um, my journal my journal, my website. This journal is in the marketplace, but there's also a few other Halloween journals that I made that are in the autumn shop as well. So if you are still in the market for a Halloween journal for next month, um, then definitely take a look at this one or some of the ones that I've made. But I just decided to go out of order. I realized the number on this um, this box, I have a system, a numbering system. It would not get posted before Halloween. I can never guarantee that I'll be able to find and pull and do things for, um, different holiday holidays in time. But if I'm able to, and it works with my filming schedule, then I will. So that's why I pulled this one. I thought it would be, that's so cute. I thought it would just be, um, perfect. Since she only had this and then one other journal, it wouldn't make my video too long. I really like this. It's like vintage spooky, which is really neat. It's about the perfect size just for adding bits and pieces for maybe end of September through October. Just as you're kind of getting into that autumn spooky feel before you start settling into the Thanksgiving Christmas feel. So that is this one, Poison. And then the other journal that was in the envelope is not Halloween themed. I think it's just a vintage ladies journal, but I'll show it since it was with this and I don't want to lose it. It is called Ladies. This is from VCK, Vilma. Oh, if I can go. Really pretty cover. The card stock on the cover has glitter. Super pretty. So I'm just going to do a quick 
quick little flip through in case somebody is interested in this i will add it to the marketplace section please make sure you're subscribed to the channel because there will be more journals from vck um, coming up in the future i have at least another box of her journals um, that will be coming up so make sure you subscribe so you do not miss that lots of room to work in this lots of pretty inspiration this little baggie here has some like papers in it and this is actually a fabric on the inside i think so that's really pretty so that is called ladies so that's all i have to share with you today it's not a long video but I hope that you found something that you would like or maybe just head over to my website and browse around because I always try to keep it stocked with things that you might like to use for your paper crafting projects. And I will see all of you, well, I was going to say tomorrow, but sometime in the next couple days. I have two really busy days with um, things with the kids and field trips appointments, different things going on. I don't know how much time I will have to work, but definitely you will see me by Thursday, if not before. So I will see all of you later. Thank you so much for watching.